Hey, photo booth business owner, please do this step by step. This is part of my workflow. That is right. I'm giving you some insight as far as what I do on a weekly basis. This part I am still doing for my business. And the reason why it's because it's a very important part of the business. However, it's going to come to a time where I really got to hand this off to someone else. So this is what I considered SEO that you don't have to pay for. So please pay attention to what I'm about to show you because the sad part is this video is going to be watched, but maybe one to maybe 2% of the photo booth business owners are going to apply this. And I hope that you are one of them. So let's go ahead and dive into it right now. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. All right. So I'm going to go and open up my Google profile. Okay. This is my Google profile right here. You guys always check your performance. Let's check this together so I can show you what to look out for. When you guys go to performance and you guys go to the bottom right here, it's going to show you what keywords are bringing traffic to your Google profile. And remember your Google profile is tied to your website. So then folks will visit your website or Instagram or Facebook, whatever social media you have tied into your Google profile. So as you can see, the 360 photo booth is still, this keyword is still the bread and butter for my Google business. And then it's followed up by photo booth rental, which is great because that's what I was aiming for. So make sure you guys stick to the whatever keywords are getting you ranked. Make sure you guys are using those when you guys post across social media and also use these constantly for hashtags. All right. So I wanted to show you that part. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to close this and I'm going to come over to chat GPT and I'm going to tell chat GPT, create a 1000 character uh, description or i can even i can even tell Jack, chat gpt is create a 1000 character promotion for my google business profile yep that's exactly what i'm asking to do and then i'm going to say focus on the local cities I'm targeting. Okay, that's all I have to do. And then I'm just going to hit enter. Now, if you guys have multiple Google profiles, you guys can just copy and paste. Now, I want you guys to pay close attention to what ChatGPT is going to spit out because I've given it prompts and I've given it a certain tonality and instructions on how to reply to when I enter a command. And you guys are going to see it right now for the very first time, because like I said, I'm sharing this with you guys, because as part of the podcast launch, I want to show you guys more things that go happen in the, that happen in the back end. All right. A lot of people don't talk about this because a lot of people are saying, David, why are you putting out gems out there? It, it's going to make it more difficult for you because of your competitors. And to a degree, yes, you're absolutely right. I shouldn't be doing this, but the, the truth is very little people will actually apply this and execute it on a weekly basis. And if you're one of them, then I don't want to have you as a competitor, but I want to have you someone that I can rely on if I ever need extra help with the business. All right. So it spit this out and it says for potential photo booth clients. And then it gives me this right here, this entire, and then it shows targeting cities right here as well. Uh, even weddings and corporate events, Ranch Cucamonga, Westlake Village, Brea Fontana. Connect with us. It, it puts my phone number in there for me, my Gmail in there for me, and it put a bunch of hashtags in there for me. And it also made a, another version for potential photo booth business owners. So the 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 verbiage will change a little bit. But now all I have to do is I can grab this right here, just like that. Copy it. Now I'm going to come over to my Google profile, and you guys want to do this uh, twice. You guys want to do this for the add update right here and you guys can go to add offer but i'm going to go to add update and then i'm just going to paste it in here and it took about uh, 714 characters when in reality you can squeeze in up to 1500 characters and then for the add a photo i'm going to introduce you guys to my other workflow and that's me editing videos on CapCut. so you guys can uh, download CapCut for free i have the uh, CapCut pro so watch me open up CapCut Cap Cut right now, CapCut, and go to new project, and then import. And when I click on import, it's going to take me to my folder right here, downloads. So I'm going to take this 10 second video, for example, I'm going to move it right down here, and I'm going to play it real quick. So I'm going to make it even shorter because I'm going to export this at 1080 or maybe even 4K. And because it's such a short video, 
it's only what eight seconds uh, it's not going to take up a lot of space when you guys are uploading to your google profile your video needs to be under and i'll give you i'll show you right here where is it at right here make sure your videos meet the following requirements duration up to 30 seconds long file size up to 75 megabytes I don't need those full 30 seconds, but what I do need is I need to be mindful about the amount of space that video is going to take. So because I want to export it in a high resolution, I just want to keep this 75 megabytes and below. So if I come right back to CapCut, right, I can come right over here and export it. And also guys, another thing is Google doesn't like when you put your phone number within the actual video. They don't like you putting extra things into the Google, such as your contact information, your phone number. One thing that they will allow that I've that I've seen them uh, be okay with is you can add your logo to it. So if I go to import and I type in logo, and I'll get my logos here. I have a few logos. Uh, let's go here. And I'll go with, for example, this logo. I just move it down here. Okay, and I'm just gonna resize the logo real quick right there yeah I'll put, I'll put the logo right there like that like a like a normal lessons commercial <laughs> and that's me hyping them up now when i go to export you guys can see that if i if i export it at 4k 30 frames per second it's below the 75 it's only 32 so i can actually export this video and i'll title it for google And export it now and it, it's exported it was that fast because it was a smaller video plus i'm using a pretty powerful uh, mac book pro with the m3 chip and i needed this because as you guys know i'm a content creator and i'm always creating content so now what i'm going to do next is i'm going to close these things up right here but i'm going to come right back over to my profile and now i can go to add photos or videos you guys can do both photos or videos here's one thing that a lot of people won't share with you guys but i'm going to share it with you guys because i want you to succeed but i really hope you guys are really watching this diligently and applying what you're learning so if i open up the google uh video i just i just uh downloaded right here and then i go to let's say i go to get info then i can add hashtags to it now and i can add canary capital rentals to it I can add photo booth Moreno Valley, Riverside, and these are all hashtags that are going in. So you're probably asking, well, what does that have to do with anything, David? And you know, that's actually a fair question out of curiosity. So what happens is now when people go onto Google, for example, and I'm gonna show you guys something, maybe you guys already knew this, maybe you haven't. And I type in Canary Capital, Canary Capital Rentals, right? And I hit search. And then I go I come over to images right here. All these, all these right here belong to me. Well, they don't necessarily belong to me, but they've been hashtagged with Canary Capital Rental. So it left a footprint behind. So you guys can see uh, a lot of my videos and a lot of my photos are in here from uh, Canary Capital Rentals. Uh, if I put in the S, I'll probably pull up even more information. So yeah, pull out a little bit more information as well. So that's why you guys want to add hashtags to your photos and your videos. So let's go back and enter and, and select that video we just downloaded right there. And it's gonna upload for us right now. And this is only gonna take you guys a few seconds. Now I want you guys to get into the habit of doing this once or twice a week because now all I have to do is go to the button and you guys can go, uh, sign up, call, call now, book. For me, I like to do either the call now or learn more. So learn more, I can enter my website and then it'll take them to my website. If if uh, I come across someone that wants to call and ask for pricing and things like that, my number is already in there because it's part of your Google profile. For me personally, I like the uh, learn more and then I like entering my website. The reason I like doing that is because then they'll see the actual pricing and they'll see the type of service says that we offer. So I'll go in there and then I hit post. All right, cool. So now it's going to be posted. Now, if you guys also want to take it a, a step beyond that, you guys can actually go to add offer. That way, when people are on their mobile phones, it'll show a little offer next to your profile and it helps your profile stand out. Now, if you guys do want to run offers, 
just make sure you guys are really thinking about this long term. Uh, just because if you're slow right now, doesn't mean you'll be slow giving a third, fourth quarter. So if you're adding offers right now and people are locking in these discounted rates for those busy months, you guys are going to lose out on a good amount of profit. So do this strategically, but it'll be the same thing. You just got to add the uh, start date and the end date. But yeah, add offers if it's going to help you out with your business. Let me go ahead and stop sharing my screen here. Um, but this is exactly what I am doing with my Google profile. And then what I also do on top of this is sometimes I'll go into my website and to the blog section and add a blog of us servicing a specific city, providing our photo booth rental services so that steadily I can actually grow more and more authority over certain keywords revolving around my business, a photo booth business. So I hope this video helps you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please, like I said, if you guys are still watching it to right now, that means you guys are hungry for information. Don't just get excited about the information. Please take this and apply this when immediately like as soon as you're done right here giving me a thumbs up just go and do it right now i'll see you guys in the next one take care good luck on your next event baby let's go